Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to be installing Atom and opening it up and checking it out. So let's get going on that right now. To get Atom, we just need to come to atom.io. Now, you'll see this homepage is great. I mean, that's one of the things that Atom does really well overall. It has a great design experience. Like so many text editors and other web editing applications just completely neglect some of the little things that make an interface really nice. And you can see even their website gives you confidence that this is going to be a nice package. Now, what's cool about Atom is that you aren't seeing any sort of purchase buttons anywhere. Because Atom is totally hackable and it's provided from GitHub, you can actually download and use it entirely for free, making it really the best free text editor available on the web. In addition, there's a ton of people using Atom, uh, and because of that, there's a ton of resources available, both for packages, plugins, and people using it, suggesting different items and things to do. Now there's great documentation, there's a blog, there's themes, there's packages, and that's just the start of it. So throughout this series, I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite packages. We're going to be diving in and we're going to be and we're going to be customizing and changing Atom. We're going to be going over some of its interface, finer features, some features that you can do with Atom to improve your workflow and just use Atom as what it says a modern, approachable, and hackable text editor. Now one of the cool things about Atom is it's actually built in essentially HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. So if you know those technologies, extending Atom is really super simple. In fact, it uses a stack called Electron, which is built by GitHub to allow you to use those technologies in an application setting like this. And Electron is actually really, really cool if you take a look at it. But what's great about this is you could inspect aspects of this user interface simply like you would inspecting something with Chrome and then you can then come in and modify it using plain old CSS to write your themes and things like that making it really super hackable like it says. Okay so that's enough introduction while this is downloading. I'm going to wait the one minute and then we're going to open up this zip and install it on our computer. Okay so we've downloaded Adam for Mac. I can just double click on this zip. And it's going to simply come up with an application here, which you can just drag into your applications, like so. And now that this is in my applications, I'm going to put it in my dock here, uh, right here next to Sublime Text, where I can uh, find my editors nice and easily. And just go ahead and selecting it, and it's going to allow you to open it up. And here we have Adam. Now, what's great here is that like I said, the experience on Atom is already really nice. They give you a welcome guide, a loading screen. It's not just sort of a blank window or something like that. They give you links to the docs, a page to discuss Atom, and just a whole bunch of information. Now what's cool is they say get to know Atom. You can open a project, you can install a package, choose a theme, custom the styling, hack the hack on the initializing script, add a snippet, and learn some shortcuts. So Right off the bat, Adam scores points in being easy to use and really just showing you how you can be better at using its own application direct out of the box. Now in addition, you notice there's two panes here. We can slide this one, we can change it out. You could also drag this tab and move it over to this one. So as you can see, this should function very similar to a lot of text editors and applications that you've used before. In the next video, we're going to start pawing through the interface of Atom and check out some of the interface features. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in this video or hit me up at Twitter or Facebook.